On October 15th of this year, Falcon 9 launched the Utelsat Hotbird 13F, a European communication satellite. Then, on the 3rd of November, the SpaceX launcher delivered the sister satellite Utelsat Hotbird 13G into orbit. The launch was supposed to happen at 3.26 am Universal Time, but SpaceX needed some extra time for checkups. Therefore, the team shifted the launch to 5.22 am Universal Time, that means to the very end of the launch window. Falcon 9 did not encounter any complication, thus was able to clear the Florida's launch pad number 40. The first stage was used for the seventh time on this mission. An utilized drone ship just read the instructions as a landing site. The platform has been waiting in the Atlantic, 674 kilometers from the launch pad. The landing of the first stage was successful, so SpaceX can proceed with preparations for its eighth flight. And great news there, and a couple of great callouts. The upper stage of the rocket performed two ignitions, and the payload could have been released. 36 minutes after launch. The Utelsat Hotbird 13G satellite is the second representative of the new Utelsat NEO program. In addition to Utelsat, the European Space Agency and Airbus also participated in its creation. The purpose of the program is to ensure the competitiveness of European companies on the global communication satellite market. The 4.5 ton satellite will transfer itself into geostationary orbit at an altitude of about 36,000 kilometers. Its destination will be the 13th degrees meridian east longitude. From there, its coverage will reach not just Europe, but also North Africa and the Middle East. It will deliver broadcasts of more than 1000 programs to more than 135 million TVs. Our channel gathered more than 200 subscribers in less than a week. Thank you! And if you don't want to miss a new episode, don't forget to subscribe.